Uh, gentleman from North Carolina, Mr. Butterfield. Mr. Chairman, before my time begins, uh, I have a parliamentary inquiry. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm always sensitive to committee decorum, and before I do it uh, this morning, I want to ask unanimous consent that I be allowed to display the Democratic Twitter handle. Go right ahead. You have no objection. Thank you. Secretary Sebelius, thank you so very much for coming today. I would like to ask you about the document that my Republican colleagues have just released. Uh, this document is an authority to operate memorandum uh, to operate the federally facilitated marketplace for six months and implement a security mitigation plan. This document, as I understand it, describes security testing for healthcare.gov. It says that security testing of the marketplace was ongoing since its inception and into September of this year. In fact, it says that, quote, throughout the three rounds of security control assessment testing, all of the security controls have been tested on different versions of the system. That's good news. But the bad news is that it goes on to say that because of system readiness, a complete security assessment of all the security controls in one complete version of the system were not tested. This document indicates that CMS postponed a final security assessment screening, but in its place, CMS did put in place a number of mitigation measures, and it concluded that these measures would mitigate any security risk. Question, are you familiar with this document? Um, yes, sir. Is it correct that this document recommends implementing a dedicated security team to monitor, track, and ensure the mitigation plan activities are completed? Yes, it does. Now, is it correct that this, this document recommends monitoring and performing weekly testing on all border devices, including Internet-facing web servers? More than recommended, it's underway. Is it correct that this document recommends conducting daily and weekly scans? Yes, sir. Does this document recommend conducting a full SCA test on the marketplace in a stable environment? Yes, sir. Is it correct that this document recommends migrating the marketplace to CMS's virtual data center uh, environment in the first quarter of next year? Yes, it does. My understanding is that an independent security expert, uh, the MITER Corporation, is performing security testing on the code that powers the website on an ongoing basis. Is that correct? That is correct, and MITRE did an assessment of the system, uh, gave us a rep preliminary report. They are in the process of posting their final report. That did uh, not raise flags about going ahead, and the mitigation strategy was put in place to make sure that we had a temporary authority to operate in place while the mitigation was going on, and then a permanent authority to operate will be signed. Finally, do you have confidence in these and other measures you are taking to protect the security of Americans' personal information? I do, sir. Thank you. This is the third time you said it during the hearing, and we believe you. Thank you. What, what you're telling us is that these remedial actions and the ongoing security testing uh, from ITER are protecting the security of the website. That's a message that it's important for the public to hear. My Republican co colleagues do not want this website to work. I am convinced of that. They want to block the ACA at all costs and even shut down the government to stop the law. For the last four years, they have taken every glitch, every simple glitch and hiccup in the law and tried to exaggerate its significance. And that's happening today, and it's so disappointing. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.